All right, hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at our Volvo Penta. This is in a 1998 uh, Larson Cabrio. This is a 254 length. Uh, so what we ended up having here is we had a no start situation and uh, ended up taking out the starter and even having it on the bench. Uh, couldn't get it to start, but ended up finding out that was a uh, coding problem on the terminal. So down here, if we get in here, I might be able to see that the starter is located uh, over here below our coolant line. So a little bit hard to get out. There's two 14 millimeter head bolts that got to come out from the bottom. Uh, the first one is a little bit more difficult to get. You have to use an open face wrench to get at it because of the clearance uh, to the adjacent housing. Uh, so the other one, you can just put a socket on and drop it that way. Then there's a 13 millimeter nut that holds on the main lugs for the DC power and then eight millimeters for uh, there's a purple one that ends up being a bypass to the fuel pump uh, when starting or cranking and then there's a yellow with red uh, that ends up being your start signal now there is a, there's the same yellow and start uh, a wire that comes from the ignition but that ultimately comes down here to this relay uh, so through a bunch of troubleshooting and without having any electrical prints, uh, I was able to locate this relay and basically identify what the problem was. Well, anyways, I think it is. So, because everything was in place and all I did was unplug this and plug it back in. That's all I did. It'd be better if I use a screwdriver here, but there it's coming. Here find your screwdriver there we go There's a little silicone gasket in there so every, all the terminals inside of here on this relay they they all look pretty good some of them look uh, kind of scorched um, but how this relay works is Basically, in this orientation, you can see that there's a yellow with red trace wire. That's the signal wire that goes here. And then the opposite side of it is the negative, uh, the black wire. And that all comes from the harness. So I was hoping it wasn't a harness issue. Thank goodness for that. It wasn't. But between the signal wire which and the, and the ground, the zero volt, that becomes the way to pull the coil in. And then it passes power from the red across to the bigger uh, yellow with a red trace or maybe that's just a yellow wire there it looks like it's just a yellow wire uh, but that ends up going down to the starter and in order to identify all this and locate it basically it's point to point measurements so at this location right here uh, what I end up doing is when putting a ohm meter from this terminal all the way down to the terminal lug down here in the starter that where the yellow and red trace wire goes I was able to get a ohm meter, uh, ohm, uh, ohm value uh, that was next to nothing. And then the other thing I was able to eventually do is put a uh, voltage setting on the meter and measure from uh, the signal wire over to black or common. And when turning the key, I saw I had 12 volts there. That's, so that's how I knew I had 12 volts to the coil. And then I measured from just the constant positive to the negative, and I knew I had power here. So I knew I had everything running up to this plug that was good. So I ended up going to the bench and just manually making all my connections. Um, and that ended up pulling in the relay on the bench, and I had zero ohms when the contact closes. So um, since then, all I've done is plug everything back in, and now it is working. So I don't know if I'm a little suspect about this relay. If there was a bad connection, um, I'm going to take a further inspection on here and uh, make sure that nothing is, you know, uh, arced or uh, something bad with the actual connections on the plug. Uh, I didn't see any pitting or arcing on any of the contacts. Uh, but I'm probably just going to buy an extra relay just to have it on hand. But this was found underneath this cover. And this cover, when I had to pull this plug off, this plug had been uh, hose clamped on. And I, I, instead of just pulling on it and reefing on it, I kind of walked this off by just slowly pulling up on this and all the way around until finally I was able to just pull this off. So then from this point, I was not knowing which terminals I had to figure out came back from the ignition switch. So I ended up going uh, one by one 
And what I ended up finding was, uh, actually, I take that back. Uh, I ended up going from this terminal post, because I couldn't find it the other way. I went from this post down, and I found the least resistive connection. And then I knew that this post ended up being the same as this one. So instead of, instead of testing from the ignition to here, I tested on the other end down to where the wire's got to go. So then I basically checked the orientation, pulled the plug out, and then I hooked up a clip here, ran a long wire, and then I checked for continuity between this terminal and the key switch that's supposed to send signal back here. So then I knew I had signal all the way to here, which was to here, and I knew I was good between the relay plug and the starter. So really the only thing that left was through a process of elimination was this relay. So luckily I've got a part number on here. It's a 12 volt relay. Most of these car relays are comprised very similarly. If you look at the terminal numbers, uh, terminal numbers of certain types tend to have the same physical location, right? So whether it's a uh, Nip and Denso, AC Delco, whoever the manufacturer is, uh, you know, Volvo Penta doesn't make it, right? And I, I see a, a a uh, little insignia here. So these are probably the folks who made it. Uh, so I might be able to find the exact one, or I might be able to find a comparable one. But again, between fit and terminal posts and current carrying capability, um, I got to find one that best matches. So I'll start with looking that one up. So, and that was just underneath here. And there was a nine nut uh, on a little rubber bushing to you know keep the uh, vibration from just uh, chattering the, the the contacts in here and prematurely mechanically wearing them out so nice little uh, rubber shock absorber uh, right here so um, so in the end I'm gonna end up getting myself a spare relay and again this cover I ended up having to take the plug off along with having to then fish this out, I was then able to get at the relay. So 